Hello, my name is Alejandro with GSC, and today we're going to take a look at a very useful patterning command called the pattern driven component pattern. So, if you look on the model here, you'll see that I have a fixture play that has a whole bunch of square uh, holes. And this peg here, this green peg, goes into each one of these holes. Now, in order to mate this peg into this hole, I had to add about three mates. One coincident and two width mates to get into the right location. Now, I don't want to have to do this for each one of these holes. So instead, what I can do is I can use a command called the pattern driven component pattern command. And what this command allows me to do is it allows me to use an already existing pattern. So in my fixture play, I have this whole pattern, uh, which is created using the linear pattern command. I can reuse that pattern to tell uh, SOLIDWORKS where each one of uh, these pegs should go. So components to pattern, I want to pattern this peg. And the driving feature where these peg is going to be patterned is I want it to pattern so that it is in the exact same position uh, as the first uh, peg, but relative to my other holes. So if I just click any one of these pattern holes, you'll see that my pegs are patterned. Now, if I go back into my pattern feature, you'll see that I can also skip specific uh, pattern, specific pattern instances. So I can choose to not insert or mate certain uh, square pegs into specific holes, which allows you to create very unique uh, component patterns. Another interesting feature, if I go ahead and delete this pattern, this component, uh, component pattern, and I go back and edit my original fixture plate. And like I said before, these holes were created using a linear pattern. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip my original driving pattern. I'm going to skip some instances on my original driving pattern. As you can see there. And then if I go back into my assembly, and I once again create a pattern driven component pattern. So I'll reselect my peg for the components of pattern. The driving feature is going to be the original linear pattern. But you'll see that SOLIDWORKS is smart enough to only pattern the IDA, the holes that currently exist. So it also knows how to read which instances were skipped in the original driving pattern feature which you can see in this little window here. So the pattern driven component pattern command uh, is very powerful. So the pattern driven component pattern can be uh, used with not just uh, driving linear patterns, but you can also be used with other pattern types. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this pattern driven component pattern. So we're back to a single peg. And I'm gonna change the configuration of my fixture plate to a curve, one that uses a curve driven pattern. So you can see that the holes were created using a curve driven pattern. Now, will the pattern driven component pattern work with a curve driven pattern as my driving pattern? Let's find out. So I'll select my peg as a component to pattern and the driving feature is gonna be my curve driven pattern. And once again, you just select any one of the uh, pattern instances and you'll see that it also works. And once again, you can even skip instances. So the pattern driven component compatter is a huge time saver by allowing you to pattern components based on other patterns. That way you can significantly reduce the total amount of mates that you have to have and speed up your workflow. This has been Alejandro with GSC. Thank you for watching.